Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for joining me today for some more RimWorld Fort Ranchos. My name is Sean and when we left off it was day number 246. I came back and I was like, what? We must have had some crazy raid at the end of that last month. I thought things were going really well. No, we didn't have any raid at all. We just did a bunch of surgery. So yes, things are going very well. <laughs> we have all of these, uh, all these pawns and surgery. Um, I think everybody's gotten their surgery, right? So I'm going to move people back to normal style medicine so we don't use up all of our uh, fancy medicine. I think that's going to be everybody. Should be. All right, good. So, and then I'm going to block off the, uh, what do we got? Six glitter world medicines left. Very good. Um, so uh, things have been going so well, I decided to turn the special events back on. Um, I had to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of fiddling around uh, within the save file because when I changed them previously, uh, it scheduled the next one at day like 1,500 or something. So uh, I rescheduled it um, starting on day. So starting on day 250, we'll have an extra raid every 13 days. Starting on day 260, we'll have an extra alien ship every 17 days. And starting on day 270, we'll have an extra infestation every 19 days. So I think we can handle that. It's not really that many more things. It's three more events a month, basically. And that should be pretty easy for us to handle. So I, th I think that means day 266, we'll get our first, or I mean 263, we'll get our first bonus event. So we still have like 20, 20 days almost. So we, we have quite a while. Uh, but it, I, I feel like the game has kind of gotten to that point where the storyteller kind of stop sending you the events that they're supposed to. So uh, hopefully that will help make up for it. Now, I don't know if we ever went and traded with this trader, but we're gonna go down and uh, see. So let's get down there. Not that we really have uh, much to get rid of or anything at this point. This may be the one that had the extra uh, bionic uh, eye that I couldn't, uh, couldn't purchase or whatever it was. I don't remember. Find out soon though. And uh, once everybody's up and at them, um, I'm thinking that uh, we can take on one of those ancient dangers. We haven't really taken on any ancient dangers recently. All right, so they do still have a bionic arm up here. And I just don't have 2,000 silver, right? Yeah. All right, that's too bad. Mm, I could sell that camel hair parka and those cloth pants, though. <clears throat> That'll get me one-tenth of... Oh, no, one-twentieth of one percent of the way. Ah, nice, nice job there, Hammonds. Why don't you haul that? Oh, I see why. I feel like I forget that every single time. But let's uh, let's wait till everybody gets woke up, and we'll wait till the morning. And then when morning time comes, we'll make sure everybody gets fed up, or gets fed, you know. And uh, then uh, then it'll be raid time. It'll be exciting, or not raid time, but ancient danger time. Pop this, pop this one open. I think. Do we have one that's closer? We should have two. I think most most every map has is supposed to have two ancient dangers. Well, if we do have a second one, that's not as uh, not as obvious as that first one. Could be in the middle of this or something. They're not always uh, not always visible. That should prove to be interesting. I'm gonna keep looking around as if it like is gonna just appear out of nowhere. Tell me, you know, you see a uh, sharp line, and you're like, oh, maybe that's it. But now it's just a just a straight line, the naturally occurring straight line. So I'm uh, obviously pretty happy with how things are going here in our colony. Things definitely have turned around they were going a little things were a little touch and go there for a while but they're definitely not now ah great hey we can get rid of all that uh get rid of all the uh oh wait hammond's a wait a minute did you just wake up or something um get rid of all that insect meat that i was just looking at and wondering why we still had that in there pigs very good animal to have if you want to have pets 
really good for hauling, and uh, they also eat corpses, which is the best kind of animal food. Uh, but we're not going to uh, we're not going to hire them. Um, don't need any of the goodies that they have to, for sale at this point. Got plenty of Pinot. I don't think we need any of those other things, nor do we need an awful pair of cloth pants. Um, I guess I could sell them that poor shirt. And the other stuff all seems to be pretty good. Don't need to buy any of those things. Neither buy nor sell those things. All right, I'd say we're fine, just fine. I'm not gonna sit, buy an awful plastic overall bed. Give me a break. All right, it's good to go. Now, what's up with... Uh... That's right, we have this prisoner who's missing a leg. I keep forgetting about that. And uh, why are you not joining me? Are you not able to join until you're uh, until you're healed up or something? Now this seems to work every time. When I focus on a prisoner who's being recruited, uh, that's been sitting there for like a year, they will suddenly get recruited. Okay, but not this time. Cameron, less than uh, less than one percent chance, huh? He, this guy must be a he's pretty tough. Um, and I have our wardens fairly well specialized. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, so I don't need to worry about that. We do have uh, idle pawns. That is something I should probably worry about. Because we don't like idle pawns. That's right, we were going to go on a raid. Um, let's make sure everybody's needs are in good shape. Uh, you are eating. You are eating. You're smelting. Why don't you come and eat something? Bjorn, uh, watching the sunrise, that's adorable. Uh, but your joy is pretty high. I'll let you go a little longer. Oh no, you're just idle. You're not really joying. Why don't you go ahead and eat? Uh, Chounce, Lagomorpha. It's good of you to be working, but you know what? Why don't you eat something? Greenhagen, uh, you already are eating something good. All right, so we'll let all these guys eat, and then it will be. Uh, um, uh, well, Draconic Rose, yeah, you can smoke a joint, I guess. You're just going to be standing there blocking bullets anyways. Alright, let's draft. It's a drafting party. Gather up up here, everyone. Is there anyone I don't want? I don't really need Yang, because he just doesn't have a shield. Draconic Rose, you can stay behind. Let's make sure everybody has a weapon. Uh, Lagomorpha doesn't, and uh, it'd be nice if I could get Lucky Strike a better weapon. Like that normal Plasteel, well that's not you. Uh, Lucky Strike could, even that normal mace would be better than what you have. And um, these guys with sniper rifles, I think I'm going to go ahead and give some of them anyways a... Uh, a uh, assault rifle. Who's the other one? Frantic? Yeah. Because we're going to be fighting a bunch of people, not necessarily at long range. Actually, it's hard to know exactly what we're going to be fighting. Um, but we kind of kind of already have some shielding stuff set up too. Um, I'm going to uh, do this here. I'm just going to have somebody move that. Uh, we'll never do hauling. All right, Cameron, sure. Greenhagen, are you too good to, to haul? Oh, you are on top of it. All right, Cameron, if you won't haul, how about you open up the door and... Uh, now, Greenhagen, what are you doing? T 
Ja. Actually, I need to get that one out of there too. All right, Mewhort, come on up here. Right there would be better. Uh, Bjorn, use you as a human shield. Everybody else is... Oh, these guys went and picked up better weapons, so I guess they're not really all that slow, necessarily. Everybody else? Oh, these two. Also human shields, but I'm not necessarily going to wait till they get here. All right. Deconstruct. Cameron, are you capable of doing construction? That's not really the way to find out. I guess if you're not, you're going to be for now. Nope. Deconstruct lime wall, please. So exciting. Turns out this isn't even an ancient danger. I'm pretty sure it is. I seem to remember seeing the warning. All right, a few uh, a few fairly easy uh, opponents. That's it, just two mechanoids? Boring. We could have taken that on from the very beginning. And he's got a minigun, so that's going to be completely worthless. As a matter of fact, I'm going to move these guys. All right, there we go. Well, I'm glad everybody showed up. Uh, well, we're still going to have to uh, take on these crypto sleep caskets, so let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, Mr. Sniper, why don't you come here? No, 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 not you, Lucky Strike. I mean, that's that's a valiant, uh, that's a nice, uh, nice of you to volunteer for that, but. All right. So they've got an Inferno Cannon and a Sniper Rifle. Both of those should be pretty easy for us to uh, deal with. Um, would you move back here? Easy. Easy. All right. Nice job. Oh, and they're both potential prisoners. Wow. That couldn't really... Couldn't have worked out much better. Uh, not thrilled about that Luciferum. This way, when I... Uh, you know what? I'm even going to... Uh, Nah, there's no read for uh, no read, no need for me to. Uh, I was gonna set them to uh, deconstruct all this stuff, and I'm not gonna do that. All right, Cameron, you are not gonna do that. Lucky Strike, you would be a good person to take care of the uh, take care of this mechanoid right there. Oh, okay, or anybody, I guess. That, that circumstance. Uh, so what do we have here? Badly shot, but you have a good bionic, so worst comes to worst. Uh, great shooter, so you're a great fighter overall, and a good grower. I'm going to recruit you, that's for sure. Keys? Um, no danger. Uh, oh, you have a gunshot injury to the brain, so that's too bad. So you're going to die. Um, all right, so we're going to strip you. As a matter of fact, let's strip you first. Um, those are set to deconstruct. So let's undo these guys. Let's see. Shutting down. Good. Hauling lance. Great. Shutting down. Stripping keys. Hauling sniper rifle. That's fine. I really know where the sniper rifle is that you would be hauling. Oh, probably... Um, 
probably one of the ones that we set down. Yeah, there we go. Um, attempting to recruit Crand. I guess that's it's not really great. Uh, you're probably incapable of hauling. So I will, um, yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, you are cooking a simple meal. Can you haul? Never do hauling. Harvesting hay grass. Stripping Trev. Cleaning sand. Come on. Harvesting Devil Strand. Well, that's not a bad idea. And we'll never do hauling. All right. Tia, I don't really want you to haul uranium necessarily. To haul those components. Yeah, I guess I can't necessarily micromanage all of this. Uh, why don't you capture Trev? And then uh, the other guy's just going to die. Alright, Challenge, thank you for hauling that. But you know what? Why don't you haul something that's going to uh, that's going to deteriorate. So, seeing all these Synthres and Hyperweave clothings reminds me of one of the games I played on the stream where I accepted accepted somebody who was running away and then uh, basically stripped them of their hyperweave clothing and left them to die by the raiders that were attacking. And uh, in the end, um, I lost like half my colony. <laughs> it was pretty messed up. Cool story. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That went really well. Let's see how this uh, potential recruitee feels. Greenhagen, are you going to... Uh, no, somebody needs to heal Trev up, though, because he's he's lost a lot of blood. 33%? Oh, I don't know. Is that worth the trouble? Um, can you... Uh, no, I'm not assigned to doctoring. Cameron, are you a doctor? No. That's right. Somebody will get to him. There you go. Hammonds. Hammonds right on it. Benefit of having a level one uh, doctoring priority. Um, so you should be toggled on. I need a chair in here for you. There we go. Cool. Area revealed. Yeah, that's the one that we just we just opened up, isn't it? Not much else going on in there. So I mean, a bunch of stuff for us to haul and everything, of course. But uh, not. Um, oh, and I bet you that was the sniper rifle that somebody was going to come haul away. So we're going to have a lot of people having to walk over here to grab these things to haul. But you know, it's worth it. And there's got to be another ancient danger somewhere. Probably inside one of these mountains. Oh, hey. Where did you come from? Were you a... Uh... Huh. That was one of my friends. Interesting. wonder what happened. I don't really need to strip it because we'll burn it. Maybe they got into a fight with an animal. Maybe it was somebody from this fight up here that just ended up dying. Hard to say. Doesn't matter. Nobody's really putting a lot of effort into picking up all that junk up there, are they? Clips. Oh well, so much for our, our growing, uh, our growing plans, huh? More like growing pains, am I right? Huh? Huh? Get it? 80s TV reference? I'm hip. Did we get all of our? Um, so it looks like we still want to make a Devil Strand shirt. Is that what that? Uh, is that what that says? It, it is what that says. 
but we have a devil strand duster all right so let's wait till we get that shirt made but we can make some more clothing from other lower tier items no problem never have too many clothes and uh, one thing I would like to do uh, we aren't quite to that point yet but I'm kind of I don't know if I would say I'm hoarding clothes but I'm kind of keeping more clothes around because I would eventually like to be able to bump up the um, bump up the uh, clothing um, pump up the pump up bump up the quality there you go let's see if we can manage that if we can do at least pour without having any nudity I don't think anybody's gonna lose anything but it'd be nice if I could bump that up to like at least superior I don't think having higher quality clothing like inherently makes people happier uh, but of course it does provide better armor protection and uh, uh, you know I guess heat protection and stuff as well but the armor protection is kind of the thing that I'm more concerned about how's that research coming along very very slowly but that's uh, that's quite reasonable Minor break risk, frantic, doing just fine on, uh, oh shit, what's going on? Oh no, wow, haven't had, uh, haven't had that happen in a while. Muhort, Yang, and Hammonds. Muhort. Yang. Hammonds. It's Hammonds. Nope. We'll have Yang temporarily do that. Alright, Yang. No longer do that. Wow. It's not a solar flare, right? Just a battery thing? Uh, do we not have... Uh, do we not have power running through that wall? Sure we do. Okay. Stuff's just taking a little time to power back up. But not long enough to where it destroyed our crops or anything, so... That's good. <laughs> Still almost able to keep up with no solar panels. Well, now it's slowing down. I think it's because the wind slowed down a little bit. But still, this clip should be over soon, I hope. If not... Well, let's, uh, let's do a little preventative maintenance. Shut off the non-essential. As a matter of fact, it's summertime, right? Don't need to have heaters going either. Even at low, uh, low usage, they still use... There you go, that stopped our drain almost completely. Heat wave is over. Well, that'll help with our, our drain as well. And the eclipse is ending. Great. Okay. I'm going to actually go ahead and just turn everything back on. Sure, it's the middle of the night. But look at that. See, we're already back on the positive side of things, even though it's because the wind picked up. Yeah, those things are filling back up. Gonna, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, move these away from the, uh, away from the power line so we can have our reserves back. Might be worth building another couple of, uh, reserve batteries, though, just, uh, just in case. Never hurts to have a few powered up batteries sitting off on the side. four minutes left. This episode has really flown by. Of course, the fact that I, like, hyper-micromanaged the uh, assault on that, uh, the assault on, uh, 
the ancient danger. That didn't didn't speed things up by any means. Interesting that they are not wearing these hyperweave clothings. Um, we we must be doing pretty good on clothes. So let's go ahead and uh, change the uh, melee uh, priority or quality up as well. We have it at a minimum of poor, right? I'm going to bump that percentage up to like 60%. All right. And ranged, I'm going to bump you up to 60% as well. Whatever. Good, good, good. So a few shields and stuff are being switched out, but nothing, nothing too too major. Um, I have that extra gold, right? Yep, so let's uh, let's make up a couple more Plasteel Royal beds. Work. Nope. Furniture. Royal bed. Plasteel. One, two. Plenty of food, plenty of animals. What is our animal situation like? Two adult females, one adult male. It's exactly what we want. Bunch of baby males, which is kind of a shame, but we'll just kill them as they come come to be adults. Trev should come over anytime. Even with only a 7% chance, it's not gonna take too long. Toxic fallout. Well, we have not had that happen for a while. Kind of a shame for all of our outdoor growing. Orders, harvest. Actually, toxic fallout calls for a lot of micromanagement. So uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here so you don't have to sit here and watch me. Basically, I'm just going to have to set up a bunch of roofs and um, set up uh, very specific zones for everybody. So I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff while the clock is paused and then when you come back, you know, we'll have the clock run again and you can watch all the excitement. Um, so uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Uh, I also stream on Twitch on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Check the uh, details down in the video description. Thank you so much for subscribing. I do really appreciate it. And I will see you here again real soon with the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.